Hello, hello, hello. Hey, YouTubers, Facebookers, MySpacers, any type of community that is out there that would like to watch this video, then uh, hey, how's it going? Um, I just wanted to thank you, first of all, for um, anyone who watched the videos, um, wrote into Ellen, uh, the show. I'm not sure if Ellen um, got to see any of it, and if she did, then I have no idea why I didn't get to lift her, but yeah, I guess I just broke the news. Yeah. Um, Unfortunately, I did not get to lift Ellen. Um, there was a month of my life sucked into that, uh, promoting it like a bat out of some bad place. I'm not going to even say H-E double hockey stick, but, um, you know, it was fun. I had, uh, it was great to see actually how many people would get on board with that and, um, and help me with that, um, even though we didn't you know, get anywhere. Well, I guess we did get somewhere, but it wasn't where we were planning on getting. And I say we because, um, you know, I really feel that a lot of you were, um, you know, a, a big driving force in, in me trying to get this to actually happen. Um, I knew that there was no way I could do it on my own. Um, and apparently with all the help, I still can't do it. So, uh, <laughs> but I did have fun. And um, with some of your emails, I mean, honestly, some of you, I, I'm so sorry that I have not replied back, but I have had like about, I don't know, maybe two, three hundred emails as a result of, um, you know, letting some of you in Facebook know. Um, I don't know why I didn't get 660 or 670 emails, but regardless, I mean, hey, you know, uh, apparently two of 200 of you or so was able to, um, you know, email me. Anyway, off on a different tangent, obviously, this whole video was supposed to be just to explain that uh, a thank you first and foremost, uh, which wasn't first and foremost, but I've already used that line and it's not like I'm trying to, you know, there's a writer's strike, let's just be honest. Uh, not that anyone's writing my material, obviously, but um, I'm just going to use that as an excuse. Okay, so I go to the Ellen Show with a bunch of my friends, absolutely loved it. Um, there was uh, Amber, Betty, um, apparently their real names are um, Amanda and uh, Brenda. Brenda's birthday was yesterday, so hey, happy birthday! And uh, Chrissy and Julie and Catherine and me, and uh, there were some other people, but we didn't know them, and we didn't care to know them either, because we were so consumed with just uh, the bunch of us and having so much fun. We had a whole row to ourselves where we got to sit. And uh, I sat right beside the producer. I mean, I reached out and touched this woman. Not in a bad way, just like her shoulder. I, you know, did a little tap. I gave her like this, which was our Facebook logo for the group, which is still up. And there's tons of people who are still a part of that group. Uh, so who knows? I might uh, see if I can, you know, do this. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not even going to say what I think because I'm not really sure. If you notice with my look, I um, literally have just kind of woken up out of bed and figured, who needs to shower and get ready for a video? I'm just going to, you know, try to make sense of this mullet and, um, you know, have at it. So, okay, so I'm right beside the producer. See how easily distracted I get? I mean, how many different tangents can one get on? I got a leaky eye. I'm, you know, I got so sick after the, here I go again. Anyway, okay, back on here. So here's the flyer that I sat right beside the producer. She was right here. I like reached out, tapped her on the shoulder and said, hey, have you heard about this? It's crazy. There's like tons of people who are trying to get this to happen. So I didn't mention all of your names, obviously, because I only had a very short time, but I like, you know, probably over embellished how many of you were um, just by a little bit because there were so many of you that honestly there was a huge amount that this should have actually happened. So I gave her this, I took, uh, she took it, and then I, sh I showed her these, you know, like I said, people drew this for me. I mean, amazing graffiti artists and Facebook did this. And if you only knew how hard this was to accomplish, like, honestly, this is amazing that they actually did this for me. So thank you, you two. Um, I love it. And then I showed her like some of these, you know, I had all this uh, done up. I don't know what the glare is going to look, but you know, there's Sky, Becky, uh, Jen, Deb, Catherine, Julie, me, uh, me, me, fireman, you know, so I showed her all this and I had like three different albums, like, hey girl, look, there's Mel, Neil, um, you know, all sorts of different people here, and uh, another one, 
you know, so I showed her all this and I said, you know, like this would be fun and blah, blah, blah. I thought I sold it pretty good, but um, you know, she took the paper, talked to some other people. She got up in the break, talked to Ellen. Ellen like looked at me, smiled a couple times. I thought for sure this thing is gonna happen. I was like, you know, sitting on the edge of my seat. I didn't know, you know, at one point, like I'm sitting, as I said, right beside the producer, probably 50 times now, but five's my favorite number. So 50 is even better. Cause it's like a lot of fives anyway. Um, yeah, I'm so excited and hyper to talk to you. I haven't done a video in forever. This is going to be way too long, so I'm going to have to chop, chop, cut, and, you know, expose. No. No exposing. Okay. Um, yeah, so, uh, what was I going to say? I have no idea. Oh, right, yes, back to the show. So, I'm at the show, and I'm standing, like, right on the edge, and you know you have to dance and whatnot. Not that that's how I was dancing. I was kind of doing, like, maybe something like this. I mean, Amanda was with us, and, well, we call her Amber. She's the dancer, and she was, like, the dancing queen, got up and did her whole thing. She looked amazing. Did not mention, you know, hey, by the way, can Kelly lift you? But whatever, I still love her. <laughs> no, I'm not sour at all, honestly. I'm really not, even though I sound like I am. Anyway, um, probably whoever did not come has no idea what I'm talking about, but uh, I can't focus because this is way too exciting. It's first thing in the morning. Did I mention that? Yes, this is why. Okay. Anyway, so, yeah, um, so we're at the show. I'm standing right on the edge, and I'm thinking, okay, if, you know, maybe if while we're dancing, I can pretend to, like, accidentally fall off the stage do a face plant, go across, shooting across, I'd be halfway to Ellen, and then she'd have to give me like two seconds of her time and say, oh, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, you know what? I'm, you know, I can't believe I did that. I'm no, I'm not a klutz or anything, but hey, can I lift you? I was totally thinking, yeah, but you know what? About maybe a year and a half, two years ago, I really seriously injured my leg in a uh, not knowing how to properly dismount from the ski lift. Yeah, very embarrassing. Anyway, they took me down the blue toboggan and on a double diamond, and uh, it was quite horrendous. But so because of that knee injury, it it's still bothering me today. Like I went down the stairs, it hurt. La, yeah, okay. And that's why I lift people on one side. If you notice, there's never a lift on this side unless it's maybe an infant. But even still, I like to do it on this side because of that knee injury. So I thought, with how long that took to get ready and like feeling somewhat better there's no way i'm going to risk it and go face planning across the thing and i have no idea how bad that would look and um do i really want my first you know on national tv exposure to really be like me wiping out and doing a cross face plan across the thing so i thought forget it anyway so with all that said i did not get to lift ellen but i did enjoy her show she is brilliant she's funny she is provocative she gets the people going julie i am sorry but it has been a long time since i said that and i just had to yeah that was for you deb because fyi i came to get down <laughs> okay so um yeah i'm having fun guess who i did get to lift ricky schroeder yeah silver spoons for anyone that's around my age totally knows who ricky schroeder is Totally love him. Silver Spoons. He was doing, he did some other stuff. The guy was the coolest guy ever. I totally love him. So funny. Like I, I, you know, asked him if I could lift him and he's like kind of wondering if I'm a bit of a freak, but he, you know, laughed and he was very nice. He's like, okay, well, how fast can you do this? Cause obviously, you know, for a grown man, it's a little embarrassing for a woman to just pick you up and hold you like a baby, but you know, whatever. So he did it. I got a picture. I'll show you. Okay, so did you see it? Yeah, because I just put it up there. Anyway, and then I went to LA Inc. hoping to lift Kat Von D, but guess what who I saw? Yeah, guess what who? No, guess who I saw? Roy Orbison's son. He has his own identity, but that's who it is. It's Roy Orbison's son, Orby. And uh, he also is in a band. He's the drummer. Fantastic. Great guy. He was so funny. Light as a feather. Brilliant. Um, gave him Amanda's number, who I call Amber. And uh, he never called. So what's up with that? I don't know. But uh, so I didn't get to lift Cat either. A little bit disappointed, but whatever. You know, Hollywood is Hollywood. And uh, a lot of people thought I was famous um, because I was telling them that I was. And they had no idea what I was on or who I was. <laughs> but it was fun. No one asked me for my autograph because I wasn't obviously convincing enough. But I did get some funny looks, um, which I always do anyway. So, I guess uh, this video is horrendous because I don't even know where I've gone, what I've done, but um, 
yeah, this didn't happen. Sorry about that, but I did have fun. Are you enjoying this? I hope so, because, um, you know, there's nothing more exciting than waking up first thing in the morning looking like crap and exposing your crapness to videos. Hey, okay, bye-bye now. <laughs>